Hello again and welcome to a new video. This time I'm gonna go for a little sneaky peek around the five-star Farionis Hotel in Puerto del Carmen. This place is immaculate inside and out. I've been here before and had a look around, but I'm gonna go for a bit of a longer walk and see what it's like because it's beautiful. So come on, let's have a little bit of five-star treatment today and let's go and check out the Farionis five-star. Not a single fingerprint or smudge on the glass as we enter this immaculate reception. And look at this, you are going to be blown away. This reception is stunning. Now, I know this is five star, so you do expect a fabulous reception, but just look at it. The whole design is just perfect. I'm going to have to enter this into the Travel On World record book for the tallest bookshelf in Lanzarote. I really don't feel I'm gonna do this place justice with just a video, so who knows? And Mrs. Travelon will be so excited when I say, we are gonna have to come and stay here so I can show you this place properly. Straight outside to the pool and just look at this. Now, when you're walking around here, it literally is like a maze of beauty. Look how immaculately clean this place is. I don't see one single leaf out of place. There are windy steps that lead to hidden secret gardens and corners where you can chill out and relax. And this way here will lead you literally down to the beach in Puerto del Carmen. As sea views go and location close to a beach, I tell you what, you couldn't get much better than this, could you? Now, the Farionis was one of the first hotels ever built in Lanzarote. And if you look back at the archives of Lanzarote in the 70s and 80s, you will see this is one of the only hotels here. And it has recently been refurbished to the most highest standard I have seen in Lanzarote. Like I said, there's loads of different places, different restaurants, so I am going to have to come back and have a look at all of them. But there are so many places like this where you can just sit overlooking Playa Grande and get yourself something to eat and drink. But let's get further into the hotel grounds and have a good old nose around. Again, you could walk around this place all day long and find something new. I think if you're here for a week, you'll find loads of different hidden gems, like this place here, where you can get a massage. Now, can you imagine having your own personal massage overlooking that beautiful sea? Amazing. Heading up towards the hotel and where the pool area is, which I'm gonna show you in a second, I had to swing a left down here and I found another little hidden gem with some really cool seating areas, sunbeds, and amazing sea views as well. Just check that out. With so many funky seats to sit in and places to relax, I thought, why not? I'm gonna have to take a little break. Now, this is the life, isn't it? I tell you what, I'm exhausted walking around this place. It's absolutely huge. So I've had a little lie down, but look at this for sheer luxury. I'll tell you what, if you want five star, look at that. It's literally like I'm in a botanical garden. There's sea views that way. There's huge palm trees and beautiful sounds. Listen to that absolute silence. All I can hear is the waves lapping against the shore. And this is just one area. Now walking around here, I've seen so many different areas, different bars, different places to sit and chill, different pools. It is just incredible. The place is spotlessly clean. Anyway, I've got more to see. Come on, let's go and have a look. On the subject of pools, let's head that way and have a look at the pool. But before we get there, let's have a look at these two luxury hot tub jacuzzis with sea views. Who can picture themselves sitting in there, relaxing with not a care in the world? Just incredible. The hotels overlook the Farionis private beach. Yes, you heard that right. This hotel has its own secluded private beach. This is not open to the public. I don't know if you could actually access it any other way, but there is a small door that leads you down to this hidden gem. Now, as promised, let's have a look at this big, beautiful blue pool with some more funky seating and just look at it breathtaking. Words cannot describe how beautiful this place really is. Of course, the pool is heated and in the winter time, this is an added bonus. And what I did like was some of the rooms in the hotel overlook the pool, overlook the sea. 
I can really see myself in one of those, sitting on the balcony and just watching the world go by. Around the pool, there were different places where you could get drinks and snacks and beautiful places to sit in the shade and just overlook the pool. Now, I have to say, this could be the best hotel on the island. I'm not sure. What is your opinion? Have you stayed in better here in Lanzarote? Because I don't know, other than the Princess Yiza, what could possibly be better than this place. It was breakfast time, so many people were in the main restaurant having breakfast. But I did spot this restaurant, which was open. So I thought, why not have a little cheeky look inside and just look at it. I'm not sure what type of restaurant this is, but look at the decor. It is super modern and just immaculate. It looked like it could be a sort of Japanese style restaurant. So if anybody stopped here, please let us know what it is. And I'll tell you what, when I stop here, I'll be able to tell you exactly what it is and show you what's on offer. Some more secret gardens to get lost in, beautiful big beds that you can enjoy and lie on. And I tell you, if you want sheer tranquility and peacefulness, this is the place to be. Back into reception and I had to have another look around because there were more places here that I didn't spot when walking in. Loads of different seating areas where you can just watch people go by, enjoy a drink and during the evening they have the piano playing. What a super peaceful environment to be in. You just couldn't get more relaxing than this, could you? Just sitting here, reading a book, having a drink, you really can just let all your problems go. So there you go, that was the Farioni's Five Star Hotel and I tell you what, I'm going to have to come back because I walked all the way around it and there were still some little places that I didn't see. I've got to get in the restaurant and have a look at that. So this will be one of a few videos. I'm definitely going to come back here because this place is a hidden gem. There are so many places to chill out in this hotel. I was lost for things to show you. So anyway, stay tuned. We will do more of the Farioni's Hotel and I'll see you in the next video.